Well, I've decided to take a little breather mid mid ride. I'm shaking a little bit. Let's steady that out a bit. There you go. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I've taken a little break from a, from a ride. I thought it'd be an opportune moment just to do a little you know trail trail side episode. I haven't done one of those for a while. Uh, and I wanted to talk about my new brakes. So I have had a pair of uh, Shimano Dior M something, something, kind of entry level Dior's basically. And they've been actually really good brakes, but I just noticed that, you know, the bite power isn't that great. You know, they aren't wearing very well. So I just figured, you know, I need to step it up a little bit, especially on the technical stuff. It's just not really kind of pulling its weight. So I ended up getting, let me try and spin this around. So I ended up getting myself a pair of Magura MT5s. Now, I don't know if anybody knows much about Magura, but they're actually they're, they're a great brand, German made. Um, you know what they say about Germans when it comes to engineering. Um, and so far they're you know, pretty flawless, hey? Um, now these are based off the Magura MT7s. If you're familiar with that, they're again also very similar. They're just, it's more about the technology that they've used within the pistons that they've used. Um, but I'll kind of show you that in a sec. Um, but what I like about them, if I kind of try and get over here and zoom in a little bit, is this thing focusing? There you go. So what I like about these is A, uh, like many brakes, uh, they're universal in terms of which side you put them. So you flip them over, you can use them left or right depending on where you're from. In the in the UK, we use our left for the uh, left brake for the rear and we use our right for the front. That tends to be the standard. In the US, it's basically the opposite. Um, so that's great. Um, one of the things that I loved about this was uh, bleeding. Um, you know, when you cut, cut the hose, you obviously need to get some air out, get some new fluid in. I tell you what, you literally you literally take that nut off, put the, um, well, yeah, she's pretty standard. You put the um, syringe in there, and instead of having the kind, of, the kind of bullshit episode when you have one at the front, one at the back, and you're cocking around, literally put the syringe on there, suck, push, suck, push, air comes out. Put the cap back on everyone's happy and you're riding love that um i think one or two other brakes do the same thing but this has just been the been bloody flawless so that's the front great uh levers are awesome um at the back oh grandpa knees so these are the pistons i was telling you about so these oh, try and balance try and keep this steady so these are the um quad pistons so four pistons two on either side so again these are very much like oh these are basically identical to the mt7s i think the the only noticeable difference i could see was this, there was more kind of adjustment uh on the actual levers themselves but it looks of things the calibers calipers are pretty much the same i'm sure there's some technology in vertical commas which is different but i'm telling you what these things are great um so yeah um so far so good uh the only thing which um is worth noting is that a um because the, the kind of surface area of the brake itself so the cal calipers because you've got a little piston here piston on either side here rather than one of the small ones you've got two small ones make it larger the surface area is larger which means aligning your brakes can be a, a little bit trickier uh it takes a bit more kind of faffing around um and the other thing that's is, is definitely worth noting is that these things have a huge amount of stopping power Compared to your your uh, regular uh, dual piston um, calipers, these things have immense stopping power. So uh, I, it took me a couple of rides just to get used to them because you get a little bit too frisky on your front brake and you are hitting the dirt hard. Uh, I've had some near near incidents, so it's something worth being being aware of. But you know these things are fantastic. The uh, the, the the power is fantastic. They're very simple. To, to install and get going you know they, they, these can be a bit more fiddly like i was saying in terms of uh, lining up against the disc but you know overall not that bad um oh, getting back to the uh, the lever yeah uh so this is the they come with standard uh two finger levers i tend to use just the one little um but you know i, I haven't actually you know i haven't actually I still use one finger, but I, I don't find that this is kind of catching my knuckles or this, that it's in the way. You can get, uh, you can upgrade these to to single uh, triggers, so I'm going to be doing that soon. But yeah, uh, yeah, they're great, so I, I literally can't complain. I'm going to try and get some more information about the brakes themselves as well as how they compare to the MT7s. So I can write a proper review, um, so kind of keep keep posted on, on that. But uh, yeah, definitely worth getting. I bought these. I'm trying to balance this again. So I bought these for 69 euro each, which is a bloody bargain. 
So it came to 130, 140, I can't remember the exact thing, but about 140 euro, something like that. I think um, uh, if you buy them at retail cost, you're looking at, I believe it's about 100, 109 euro, 110 euro, I believe. Again, I'm gonna find out more, but from what I saw, it's about 109 euro. So that's uh, in, in pounds, about 100 pounds, dollars, about 120 dollars, something like that. Um, but yeah, definitely worth getting. Cost is fantastic, lots of bite. Um, haven't had an issue yet, so I'll keep you guys posted. I appreciate you guys subscribing and check out riderflow.com for, uh, for more stuff. Cheers.